Hi guys, Justin here, and I have here the Helinox Chair Zero. It's been the leader in the ultralight chair realm for the last couple years. Came out back in, I think, 2017. And today we're gonna go over the three things I think you need to know about the Helinox Chair Zero. Welcome back. So first up of the three things I think you need to know, has to do with one of the biggest complaints that I see on reviews and forums for the Helinox Chair Zero and the Helinox line in general. And that's that the feet sink in sand. And that's because they're fairly narrow and once you put some weight on them, especially if you get rocking back and forth, the feet can dig into the sand or loose gravel and really kind of put the chair on an uneven footing. I personally haven't had much of a problem with that. I'm not really camping on beaches or areas with loose gravel very often. Usually I'm on pretty firm ground like this and it's really not an issue. But for those people that are encountering this as a problem, let me tell you, there's a solution. Helinox has heard you and what they've done is they've put out a mat that kind of clips into the feet here and creates a flat surface to spread out the surface area of the feet so that when you put it onto sand, you're not sinking in. So there you go. If you've been worrying that the feet sinking into sand is gonna be a problem, then just buy that little mat and you're gonna be all set. So the second thing has to do with a little bit of misleading by Heelnox. They advertise the weight at one pound or about 500 grams if you wanna get really specific. But what you should know is that weight doesn't include the stuff sack. The stuff sack weighs another 20 grams, so all in, the chair and the stuff sack weigh 520 grams. Not the biggest deal, but it would have been nice if Helidox was a little bit more forthcoming with what the weight was for this chair. All right, number three of the things that I think you need to know for the Helidox Chair Zero, and this is probably the biggest one. One of the complaints that I see for this chair, other than the fact that it sinks into sand, is that people get pinching on their butt and hips when they sit in the chair. And that's partially due to these gaps right here that are a little bit ergonomic, but also help with saving weight. And I actually found the same thing when I first tried this chair out in the store. And that was about a year and a half ago, is I found a little bit of pinching in the hips. But I've been using it for the last year and a half, and other than maybe the first few trips, I haven't had a problem with that pinching. And the reason why is that this nylon actually stretches out and conforms to your sitting style over the course of the time that you're using it. So as I use the chair and I sit in it, my butt actually stretches the fabric out and I don't get that pinching anymore. So I'm sitting right now, no pinching on my butt, not a problem. So if you try the chair out in the store and you're getting that, just keep in mind that after several uses, it's gonna stretch out and you're not gonna have that issue. All right, so those are the three things I think you need to know about the Helinox Chair Zero. This is a great chair. I've been using it for a long time. I'm gonna keep using it for the foreseeable future. If you have any questions about the chair, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.